Let's build a simple application in AngularJS to get a process maker's user's case list using the new process maker REST API. It's way easier than it sounds, I swear. First and foremost, the requirements. What you need. Process maker version 2.8 or later. A server running Apache or a similar web server. The proper file permissions to create or copy files inside the Apache public directory. What I am using. A CentOS server with Process Maker 3 running. A local WAMP server installed on Windows 8. And all the necessary files are going to be created in the root of my www WAMP directory. Let's start by registering the new application in our Process Maker server. In order to be provided with an OAuth client ID and a client secret ID, log in to your Process Maker server. Open the following URL from your browser. Don't forget to use your own Process Maker server address and workspace name. We are going to use this interface to register our external application. Click on New. Define the following characteristics for your new application and click on Register Application. Name, Case Lister. Description, Example REST application to obtain the list of cases from a user's inbox. Website, ProcessMaker.com. This operation will generate a client ID number and a client secret ID number for your application. We are going to use both to access this Process Maker server externally. You can display your application details at any time by selecting it from the list and clicking on Details. That's it! You may register as many applications as you need. Inside your www root directory, create a new JavaScript file with the following source code. This file contains all the necessary JavaScript code to establish the external connection to your Process Maker server. Now, let me walk you through the code so you know what it does exactly. The connection parameters. In the following lines of code, 8 to 17, we define the necessary authentication credentials which include our Process Maker server URL, workspace name, client ID, and client secret ID. Enter your Process Maker server URL and workspace name your client ID and client secret ID from your registered application details. Save the file. If you're wondering what about the username and password, don't worry, we're going to obtain them from a web form. Executing a POST request. Here is where all the magic happens. Take a look at the login function, lines 22 to 43. Login executes a POST request to our Process Maker server, specifically to this address. Using the recently defined credentials as parameters in order to obtain an access token. In case of an error arising during the POST request execution, this function displays an alert box with the error description. Otherwise, executes a GET request to the following address, using an access token as the bearer in order to obtain the authenticated user's inbox cases. Notice we're using the cases endpoint to obtain a user's list of inbox cases. Each REST endpoint is a web address which provides access to a specific process maker service, such as getting a list of cases or creating a user. Creating the application homepage. Create a new file called index.html in your Apache www root directory with the following source code. This file contains all the HTML structure for our application homepage. Notice the AngularJS directives and expressions used. Reviewing the code. About the content of our header tags, you'll notice that all the necessary external and internal resources are loaded. The Process Maker favicon, Bootstrap CSS, AngularJS, and of course, our file. Additionally, your HTML structure includes a panel to display all your Process Maker server details, URL, a workspace name, client ID, and client secret ID. A brief form to allow users to enter a valid username and password combination, and a table to display the received case list details. Believe it or not, your application is ready. Let's see how it works. Make sure your Apache server is running and open your application URL address in your favorite browser. In my case, my application is installed in my local Apache www root directory. You should get something like this. Take a look at your Process Maker server details. Cool, right? Enter a valid username and password combination and click on Get Case List. 
I'm using my admin user credentials. The complete case list of the authenticated user will be displayed in a cool looking table below. Now, what just happened? Your application just connected to your process maker server using the entered user credentials to authenticate and get an access token. Then it used this token to request the complete case list for the authenticated user. Now that you have this application running, you can modify it to create a complete external user interface for your process maker server. Find more detailed information about the new Process Maker REST API, including available OAuth 2.0 authentication methods, the complete list of endpoints, and some cool examples in our official documentation page. You can also download the complete source code used for this example from this address. Process Maker includes a powerful RESTful API, which gives developers full control over all functions in both the designer and the runtime engine making it much easier to embed Process Maker in any type of system or product.